blushing bride. Oh, oh, don't you look glorious. Thank you. Oh, can I take a little peek at that dress? Oh, no, not before Alex sees it. Well, you look absolutely stunning. And you look absolutely stunning too, Dennis. Oh, thank you. Where is Alex? Well, not here yet, thank heavens. But I want to see him. Dennis, does your mother always invite disaster? Quick, we can slip into my office. I'm sure that the ever-efficient Terry Decker will have Alex up here before we can say something borrowed, something oh, blue. Oh, Paige, that's a silly old superstition. About the bride not being the groom before the ceremony? Well, silly or not, we're not taking any chances, are we, Dennis? It's not. <laughs> no way. Give those <laughs> demons an opening and they'll zap you. You know, you, you have to keep very oh, oh, right. Oh, 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 there goes Iris. Oh, isn't she radiant? What? Oh, yeah. You know what I like about you, Max? What's that, honey? The way you can turn a compliment. Well, I thought you liked my uh, broad shoulders and my curly hair and my flashing smile. No, your thick head, honey. My thick head? Yeah. <laughs> I never would imagine. Now, look. Look at that over there. What do all those lights remind you of, huh? Well, that's easy. The fires of hell. Fires of hell. Yeah. You call that poetry, honey. That's a, that's the Milky Way. That's the the great hey. galaxy. Oh, <laughs> and here we are, right in the middle. Of... Sodom and Gomorrah. <laughs> the pleasure dome of Kula Khan, huh? Ooh. Oh, honey, I want to show you this. What? Now look at that. What does that look like? Oh, come on, Rena. It looks like an unfinished skyscraper. Honey, that's man's great leap forward. That's that's poetry and steel. Oh. Max. What? Look at me. What do I look like? A spoiled, mule-headed uh oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Rena. You are one gorgeous woman. That's better, Decker. Yeah. <laughs> Must be all those calf brains you've been feeding me, huh? <laughs> 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 top of the evening, Ginny Lass. Mm. And top the evening to you, Stephen Lapp. Oh, you're very Irish tonight. Oh, weddings and funerals, you know. Uh, hoi, 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 hoi. Brings out the old country in me, you know. Watch out for him, Ginny. It also brings out the old Blarney. <laughs> Thanks, Blarney, Mom. Do you have to have Blarney to get married? No. Um, it's kind of like saddle soap. I mean, it's not absolutely necessary, but it makes the ride a lot more comfortable. Are you and Ryan going to have a Blarney at your wedding? <laughs> I hope you don't mind. I told him about our plans. No, of course not. How about it, Steve? How do you feel about your mom and me getting married, huh? It's great. Then I can ride in your trapper all the time. Uh, hey, <laughs> that's what I like. A boy who knows what he wants out of life. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I have to greet you again. Thank you. Bye. So long, Alex. Bye. Bye. Aunt Vicky, you're not going to... Oh, please, Sam, I needed that. Before this evening's over, I'm going to need several more. But don't worry, I won't make a spectacle of myself. I won't give Iris that satisfaction. Aunt Vicky... Now, please, Bart, don't you start in two. One concerned relative is enough. Now, if you'll excuse me, I want to give Alex my best wishes. Vicky, thank you for coming. That's the least I could do after all the years we've been together. I, uh... Sorry, Alex. Sorry. I swore to myself that I'd be gracious and the first thing out of my mouth, I... I wish you every happiness. Vicky, it's very kind of you. Thank you. And as soon as, uh... And now that Alex is going on that long honeymoon, I... Mm. What are you doing here? Maybe I came to wish Alex many happy returns. Ah, I really came to see you, baby. I thought you'd be all mellowed out by the festivities. Now, don't freeze up on me. A clipper. Whatever we had is frozen up. Cast off and floating towards the North Pole, which I advise you to do, unless you want me to call security and have them throw you out. Baby, don't you love me anymore? Love you? Try despise you. I find you utterly contemptible. Excuse me, Miss Decker. Uh, I'm sorry to disturb you, 
but there's a phone call for you. A Mrs. Marshall. She says it's an emergency. Okay, let me give you a hand. Yes. For right, the old right. times. Hello, Kate. Glad you didn't make it here. Now let's get out of here before the guard comes back. I had to give him a phony name, told him I was a photographer with a wedding party. Oh, yeah? What name did you give him? difference does that make? None. Not a bit. Did you get the keys? Hey, is Alex Wheeler rolling an oil box? Listen, Curtis, if I wanted a stand-up comedy routine, I would have asked Paige to let me see Alex's files. Now, give me the keys. Sure. Don't get so worked up over it. Where's Wheeler? He's in the club, dodging Victoria Bellman and letting Miss Goody Two-Shoes Decker and that snake of a sister of yours call the shots. Watch your mouth, Curtis. Paige is my sister. Terry is almost family to me. Well, she could have been family to me, too, but she turned it down. But what the heck? Today's the day all debts are written out of the books. Yeah. Today, Wheeler pays for everything. Hey, listen, Justin. You got all the time in the world up there. Alex is going to be married in about 20 minutes, and then they got dinner, drinks, etc. And wherever Alex goes, Terry tags along. You just get me into Wheeler's office. Sure. I'll drop you off at his office, and I'll get back to the party and keep an eye on the watchdog and Wheeler. Yeah. And by the way, when you're in there, if anybody comes or makes one move towards that office, I'll call, ring twice, hang up, and then you get out. Yeah. Hey, relax, Justin. Justin, old boy, this is the day when Alex get what's coming to him. <laughs> 